Fergus Green is the Senior Campaigns Coordinator for Climate at People and Planet. And we're now going to be talking about the Fossil Free Careers campaign, a campaign to get to universities to stop allowing fossil fuel firms from recruiting uh, students on university campuses. Before we delve into any of that, Fergus, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing today? Yeah, thanks so much, Chris. Um, I'm doing grand. Uh, it's a Sunday. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing great. How are you doing? All right. Sorry, I hope I haven't got you up too early on a Sunday, uh, <laughs> but hopefully you are all good. Um, so let's kick things off then. So could you just talk us through why you're targeting careers recruitment? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I think there's kind of three, like for me, there's three aspects to this question. Um, firstly, and maybe most importantly, um, it's a really, really important way that universities in the UK are complicit in the climate and ecological crisis. Um, but it's also a real point of vulnerability for the um, oil, gas and mining industry. Um, and there's, it's a campaign that we can win. Um, so it's a really impactful one. Um, so maybe just kind of break those three points down a little. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really important way in which universities across the UK are complicit in the, in the climate crisis. Um, universities are actively channeling students into careers in the oil, gas and mining sectors. Um, kind of through a, a mechanism that we call the recruitment pipeline, right? So you've got things like years in industries being promoted to students. Um, you've got, uh, you know, um, rep representatives from the fossil fuel industry coming to um, host exclusive networking events, come to do talks on campus, hosting panel events, um, yeah, attending careers fairs, all these, you know, all the way through um, a student's university career. Um, and this is kind of, you know, it's not a passive process, right? These are universities actively channeling students into these careers and providing these companies with a steady stream of uh, graduates and, and recruits. Um, and this is vital for the industry. It's super important for the industry to keep on going because to be honest, they're struggling to recruit people and they're struggling to recruit young people. Um, so if you look at, there was a uh, energy outlook report back in 2021 um, this was an industry thing, right? This wasn't comrades, this wasn't uh, an environmental movement thing, this was an industry um, reporting that the biggest challenge that the um, yeah, oil and gas industry are kind of um, re reporting to face is the aging workforce and struggles with recruitment. Um, the industry is saying, you know, this, this is our biggest challenge moving forward. Um, and study after study has shown that young people just aren't interested in working in the um, extractive industries. Um, so yeah, it's a real vulnerability for them, this um, issue of recruitment. Um, and so we kind of, we're starting to think, okay, you know, it's a way that universities are complicit in the crisis. It's a point of vulnerability for the industry. It's something we can kind of really leverage and have an impact in, um, you know, is there a campaign here? And yes, there is, because um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to end this recruitment pipeline, right? And um, we're demanding that every UK university um, puts in place a, ethical careers policy is what we're calling it, um, basically ending fossil fuel recruitment on campus. Um, that's our, our demand. Um, and this is something that we know that they can do because they already do it for other industries. Um, so about a fifth of UK universities already have a similar sort of exclusion, um, most prominently for the tobacco industry, but some for the gambling and add-on sex industry too. Um, so we know that this is something they can do. Um, we know that they can you know, um, put in place an industry-wide exclusion. Um, and that's what we're demanding of career services. So yeah, that's that's the plan basically. And that's what we've been doing, building a grassroots student-led movement to make that happen and make that a priority for university career services. And so this campaign is kind of spawned out of the fossil fuel divestment campaign, which people and planet has obviously led in the student movement in the UK for a long time. And with divestment, I think, you know, the arguments are relatively straightforward, right? Which is that universities shouldn't be financing and funding an industry which is killing the planet. With careers, it's it's slightly different. And I wanted to ask you whether with recruitment issues, you are getting pushback from students who are concerned about, you know, uh, getting good jobs when they've graduated and so on, because that's often the argument that's made uh, with it when it comes to recruitment and careers is that, you know, students need jobs, they need to, to go into the economy after they've graduated. Are you getting that pushback from students all? Yeah, yeah, it's a really inter interesting question. And yeah, it's totally true that this campaign is kind of building off that um, divestment movement, um, so the yeah, movement to 
um, get universities to drop their investments in the fossil fuel industry. We're seeing this as the kind of you know the next step of that. Um, you know, we're kind of systematically breaking those ties um, with the fossil fuel industry and universities. Um, and you know, we're saying that um, those arguments around divestment are hard won, <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of pushback um, you know, at the start, and that's kind of um, you know we've overcome those arguments now. It's it's common sense across the sector. Um, but to be honest, the pushback from students. Um, yeah, I, hasn't hasn't really uh, materialized that their students are, are broadly supportive because, like I say, students aren't interested in these jobs anyway. Um, that, that's kind of true across the board. So again, another bit of research, not from comrades, this is PwC, um, put out um, yeah, a kind of they did a big big study into um, millennials and kind of job habits and kind of career aspirations, and over half of the millennials they surveyed. Um, said that they'd refused to work in a sector because of its image and oil and gas came out as you know, the most unappealing globally because of that. Um, we see, for example, um, Imperial College has recently suspended its petrochemical um, geoscience course, I think it was, um, which is reportedly due to lack of interest, right? Um, so all across the board in all these different metrics, um, students, young people, graduates, uh, turning away from the industry um, kind of wholesale. Um, it's not a job that folks are interested in, partly because of, yeah, you know, folks don't want to work for the very companies that are responsible for driving us into the crisis, but also because um, we know that these aren't jobs with a long-term future. They can't be if we're to, you know, build a safe and livable climate for all. Um, so we know that these industries are going to have to be wound down. We know that um, these aren't, you know, good long-term career bets. Um, and so... Yeah, there's there's kind of a, not a huge appetite to be working in these industries anyway. Um, so in fact, yeah, student support has been incredible. Um, it's kind of been a really it, the campaign has been energetically taken up to sort of all across the UK, um, which is really exciting to see. And yeah, there's been really sort of positive movement um, from from career services as well. And um, again, you know, people, it's, it's a pretty new campaign, so it's taken a, a while to kind of get these ideas um, accepted and in circulation. But um, yeah, I think we're making real progress. So in terms of that progress, uh, what sort of successes and victories have you had so far in the campaign? Yeah, yeah. So um, we've got 14 um, student unions who have um, pledged to basically sort of boycott all um, yeah, oil, gas and mining recruitment. So they won't host those careers fairs in their spaces. They won't promote them. They'll condemn them if uh, university holds them. Um, which has been, again, really exciting to see. Um, and that's kind of been policy. We've got three universities that have um, made a kind of full commitment to end fossil fuel recruitment on campus, which is incredible. Um, so that's Wrexham Glyndor University, University of the Arts London, and University of Bedfordshire. Um, so they've all put in place an ethical careers policy saying, yeah, fossil fuel um, recruitment ended on campus, which is fantastic. Um, and We've, so, so they're the kind of you know the, the real campaign victories with many more in the pipeline, I'd, I'd say. <laughs> um, but we're building um, sort of beyond that. We're building support all across the um, all across the sector. So we've um, been working with UCU branches um, to to sort of find uh, local support. Um, so branches off the top of my head, I think it was Edinburgh, Durham, Swansea, uh, Sheffield um, branches of all. Um, Sort of passed the motion to support the campaign. I've been working alongside student organisers um, and the um, UCU National Congress um, last year passed the motion uh, backing the campaign as well. Um, so it's kind of been real um, student self solidarity on this issue, which has been uh, fantastic to see. And I think it will be a really important um, way that will drive the campaign forward. Um, students and staff working together, fighting for this change on campus. Um, the NUS in, officially endorsed the campaign too. Um, and that was last year as well. So I'd say that the kind of there's been a, a real groundswell of support um, from all different sectors, and yeah, we're um, we're sort of building from that support, turning up the heat, um, and starting to you know turn the screw a little bit on on universities and really um, force the issue and get some more campaign victories across the board. So before I ask you how people can get involved, mm. uh, I just have a a question about you know, how this campaign exists on different university campuses, because presumably 
uh, if you're at Norwich University of the Arts, the mm-hmm. amount of fossil fuel company recruitment that's going on there is pretty limited. Whereas if you're at the University of Aberdeen, uh, next to you know the entire most of the UK's oil industry, um, then presumably the uh, the amount of recruitment is much much greater. So. Uh, how, how 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 does that affect the campaign in terms of the different institutions and the different level of um, involvement they have with fossil fuel recruitment? Mm, yeah, thanks. It's a um, really interesting question. I think um, so. The the first thing to say is that this is a campaign that any student at any university can pick up and run um, because before we started, there wasn't a single one that had a policy in place um, that you know officially said you know in policy in written policy we're not going to work with the oil gas and mining industry in terms of recruitment. Um, So this is a campaign that um, any student at any university can run. Um, uh, But you're totally right that there are some universities uh, in the UK that have even stronger ties with the fossil fuel industry that have been, I think we could, it's fair to say, totally captured by uh, the interests of the fossil fuel industry. Um, And it's a tough campaign to win there. I think that it's just, we can sort of, stuff and say that it'll be it'll be tough um at that sort of university um this is a fight for like the very soul of the university right we're fighting for the for what education can be for what a university can be it's it's a case of kind of you know re totally reconfiguring what that university looks like um but there, there so there are a few special cases like that and um, i think Aberdeen, it's fair to say is, is one of those but um there are yeah there are um, the fossil fuel industry is recruiting all across the UK um, and we can um, fight it, yeah, wherever it pops up. Um, and students are employing a real variety of tactics as they did with divestment, um, depending on you know, the group, what folks are comfy with, um, what feels good and what's effective at that university. Different universities respond differently to, um, to tactics. So, yeah, there's, um, there's a real, I would say, diversity of tactics that we're employing. From all the you know all the usual stuff, um, building support, petitions, lobbying, um, through to the spikier stuff. Um, yeah, uh, there's a there's a real variety of stuff going on, and it's proving pretty successful so far. And then finally, then how can people get involved in this campaign? Yeah, awesome. Um, so if you're up for supporting, um, we need you. We need everyone here. Um, you know, eyes on universities highlighting this as an issue. Um, First up, we've got a petition that every single person, anyone can sign that. Um, So um, we've maybe put it in the show notes or we can, um, you can find it if you search fossil free careers. Um, So yeah, sign that petition, send it around to your pals. We really need to um, show universities that we're united on this, that um, to kind of, yeah, increase the pressure, show that there's a broad base of support. for an end to fossil fuel recruitment on campus. Um, and beyond that, um, well, this is already, um, like I said, it's a, f- a fantastic movement. It's, um, it's going really well and we're building, building an extraordinary amount of momentum so far, um, but we're a small team and there is so much more that we could be doing, that we want to be doing. Um, but yeah, you know, we're up against really well-funded opponents and we're not well-funded, we're a, small radical charity um, doing what we can um, and we'd yeah absolutely love to um, be doing much much more um, so if you've got the funds if you'd be up for it um, we'd really appreciate uh, a small regular donation um, to kind of allow us to grow even further push even further and really take the fight to the industry in the ways that we want to um, if you're involved in university spaces if you're a staff a student academic um, or have you know comrades or pals who are um, get in touch with us, um, start up the campaign um, at your uni or we can put you in touch with folks who are already working on it. Um, yeah, ramp, we can ramp up the pressure and yeah, we'd love to have you involved.